Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another small ship and this one is called the Crater Hopper which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a very small very adorable ship that features both ion and hydrogen thrusters as well as a few guns and a built in survival kit. Pressing F10 and finding the Crater Hopper in the spawn menu, wow that loaded fast. Yes, here it is, it's 686 small blocks using the Wasteland DLC pack, with the main purpose of the DLC pack being the headlights and the skins. So we'll give this a little thumbs up, come all the way around to the very front, and we'll have a look around the outside. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got two hydrogen thrusters front and center to help us slow down, and they've been separated by a blast or edge block. We can see on the left and the right hand side our Gatling guns just to pew pew any drones that come close to us and we can see our Wasteland DLC spotlights is hidden away over there. If we come up A a little bit we do have some unfinished interior light blocks over here just to add some extra decoration and up the top here we've got a very standard cockpit to fly this thing around. As we move around the side here we've got these lovely parts that come off our front, come all the way around over to here just to add a bit more decoration to it and it does look quite nice with how it's been set up. It's a very simple thing but it does add quite a lot to the ship's design. Yes, as we come all the way around here we'll look at the main body. We can see our hydrogen thrusters to help us on our left and our right. More hydrogen thrusters to help us stay in the air on a planet. Parachute hatches built in over to here. An O2 tank as well as an access point right there. A connector that connects onto a medium cargo container in order to load up any kind of ice or ammunition for your guns. And we can see just up to here another unfinished hydrogen thruster and a piston head just to cover up the block behind it. Coming over to here we can see even more stuff crammed inside this thing. We've got an ejector, we've got air vents to suck in oxygen to refill our tanks, an ore detector, interior lights and right behind here we can just about see what looks like a hydrogen tank. And just below that can't quite make out what that block is but if we were to come down and underneath through in here we can see some very sneaky hydrogen thrusters in the middle of this ship which will help us slow down as well. So coming out here and going back to where I was, yep I believe I am on the correct side and over to our thruster pod we'll see we've got a connector in the middle here surrounded by some sort of, it's like off white steel blocks surrounding it with some blast or edge blocks in the middle for some additional decoration. If we move around the side we're going to see another hydrogen thruster to help us on our left and our right and we'll see a very exposed hydrogen tank right there to store everything in with a large hydrogen thruster attached to the back of it. We've got two of these large hydrogen thrusters to push us around and that's all we really need when we're on a planet. We do have some additional ion thrusters right there to help us while we're in space so we can't always turn off these large ones to save fuel. Yes at the very back here we've got ourselves a battery sticking out the back with a gyroscope and camera to help us see behind us. If I was to come up and above here we'll see some small cargo containers coming from the main body of the ship over to our thruster pod which is how we're going to connect up to our connector on the thruster pod. Yes coming back over to the main body we can see an O2H2 generator sticking out the back there and then we've got some lovely block work all the way along the top to come to our cockpit. And just because this side is slightly different we can see our survival kit right behind our cockpit so we can respawn right next to this and we can give ourselves a quick little recharge when we're out about mining asteroids. Coming all the way down and underneath this thing we got ourselves our connector to dock and load up stuff into this. A bunch more hydrogen thrusters with a little toggle switch to switch them on when we're on a planet and to switch a few of them off when we're in space to save fuel. Then moving towards the back, there we go, that is what we get. So it's a very nice very compact little ship to play around with and it's time to get into my character. So bringing up the HUD, this is what we get for this little ship. 1, 2 and 3 are different settings for our hydrogen thrusters. Pressing number 1 is going to turn off our boosters on the side there, leaving our iron thrusters to push us around, but all the other hydrogen thrusters will remain turned on. Number 2 is for our atmospheric thrusters. They are still hydrogen thrusters, but when we're on a planet we may need some additional assistance staying in the air, so we can switch that on and a few more hydrogen thrusters will light up and hopefully do their job. But we can switch that off, means we're in space. Number three is going to be for our additional thrusters on the left and the right in case we don't need them, so switching them off 
our side and front thrusters will turn off so we can if we wanted to just use this as a cruise control going forwards and we can switch them on when we're ready to come to a stop. Number four is simply for our iron thrusters at the back there to turn them off if we don't need them like when we're on a planet and number five is for our Gatling guns at the very front there to fire them both together. Number six is for our gyroscopes on and off so if I was to toggle that on we'll then lose control over our ship and we can no longer move it with our mouse. Seven is for our air vents to turn them on and off to suck in the atmospheric air and eight and nine are for our oxygen tanks. One is to stockpile on and off and one is to refill on and off. Coming over to tab number two we then got controls for our parachutes open and closed, two for our antenna, three for our ore detector, four for our hydrogen engine if we need that extra power and five, six and seven is for our batteries. Number five is going to be to auto or recharge, five for auto or discharge and number seven is all back to auto. And of course number eight is for our lights all the way around this ship to switch them on and off. Tab number three, four and five, everything else is empty so it's time to fly this thing around. So going forwards this is what we get in space, we are bloody fast thanks to those large hydrogen thrusters and of course our two tiddly little ions pushing us around. Stopping as well is very good with this ship, there's no need to do a 180 because we will stop in a reasonable amount of time. Moving left and moving right, once again some fantastic speed with this. Going down, it's a little slower than everything else and then going up, of course we're going to have a lot of speed with all those thrusters turned on. And now if I was to find myself a little planet, the Mars planet will actually do quite nicely here and shove myself all the way into here, there we go. So switching off our ion thrusters and moving forwards this is what we get. Moving forwards is about the same just a little bit slow but that is going to be because our ion thrusters have been switched off. Stopping as well feels a lot slower than in space but it might just be my imagination. Going left and right we should be about the same. Going down a lot faster thanks to gravity and going up we're a hell of a lot slower because of gravity. And then wiggling my mouse around this is what we get. We've got a nice lot of weight on here, in fact you may want to have another gyroscope on here because it does tend to drag a little bit, but for the purpose of this ship it's perfectly fine. And of course just to do a little test if I come to a complete stop and press number two, there we go, we do not have enough thrust to keep ourselves hovering in the air and we are going to slowly come back down to the ground if our atmospheric thrusters turn off, so switching them back on will now hover all nicely. So one final thing to do with this is of course slam ourselves into the ground and that'll be it for the Crater Hopper. So it's a very nice little ship if you are looking for something small and simple to play around with, it's a very handy survival based ship and is perfect for survival mode. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.